This tutorial is the second part of how to load the rescue files and create hybrid simulation model. This guide provides an overview of new functionalities in the T-Navigator 2015. In this video, you'll know how to load VFP tables, compositional modeling, and component lumping, how to create a well groups, create a cross section, add aquifer, make local grid, refinements, LGR. And we're going to use the hybrid format, means to have both static and dynamic model in one project. To create a new project or open an existing one with new hybrid format, go to Designer and open the previous project. Click on Sample.SNP and then Open button. The hybrid project contains main SNF folder with all updated data like geological properties, well events, production, and etc. Let's import VFP tables. Open the VFP file and be sure that file has VFP prod keyword. Now for more information about VFP format, Go to T-Navigator, User Manual, click Control plus F, and find as a keyword VFP PROD. Compare file with all records, each record terminated with a slash. This keyword inputs a table of BHP values versus rate, tubing head pressure, water oil ration, and so on. Let's go back to the project to import VFP tables to go to well data. Then activate production lifting tables. Click in the window file names to add the VFP file. Here's our VFP file. Click the open button. After that, to upload to the project, click apply. Now there are two ways to see family of curves for selected parameters. First is move slider and the second one, select the number. For water cut, let's use 0.3. For gas oil ratio, 250. If in the model calculation, the values are outside the range specified in the table, the linear extrapolation will be used to calculate the missing values. Make sure that the given values in the table cover all cases that may occur during your model calculation. The next example will show you how to create a compositional model. First of all, you should choose the model type as a Composition 1. In the model, we have only two-phase oil and gas. Click over there, then Apply button. T-Navigator activates additional parameters such as Component Properties. To fill it, go to Properties. Then Activate Component Properties. And we're going to use Default Components list by choosing Component. For instance, let's choose Nitrogen, Carbon Dioxide and components from methane, which is C1, to octane, which is C8. Then click the Apply button. T-Navigator will create properties for each component's critical temperature and pressure, ascenic factor, and etc. To group components, select any. For instance, from C5 to C8, then right-click and group components to get average properties. The next example will show you how to make a well groups. Open the geometry object. Find the well group button. Open the well groups dialog, then press green button to create a new group. Put the name of the group. Then select wells in this particular group. To add a new group of wells, press the green button again. Create a group number 2. Select different wells from the group 1. To create a subgroup to the parent group, stand on Parent Group and press Add. Select additional wells if needed. As a result, there are two groups with one subgroup in the project. So the next step is to create cross-section. 
press Create a Cross Section where the well bore of a new well will be drilled. To zoom, 3D map, scroll up the mouse, then choose the area for cross section. Click left mouse button near the well, a plane will appear. Click the Apply button. Go to 2D map and choose cross section. As a result, you'll see a cross section along the well, then scroll up the mouse to zoom the permeability property. To expand the cross section, open 3D window, hold the box corners, and move to another well. Then click if it's OK for you. Click Apply button. Go to 2D map again to see the results. T Navigator allows you to work with 3D and 2D windows at the same time. Let me show you how it works. Go to create a new view of the 3D window. The best thing is to use two monitors for 3D and 2D windows, but anyway, let's change the size to use one monitor. And change the cross section in the 3D window and observe the result in 2D window. Select cross section, hold it by left mouse, and try to move whatever area, then click apply. Move the cross section again to another well. Click Apply. This is very useful to see the immediate results of the cross section from 3D window. Let me show you how to create a cross section for all wells in the model. Open the fence in the cross section window. Then go to Multi Wells Fence. T Navigator automatically creates multi well cross section for every single well in the model. Click Apply. Zoom the cross section in the 2D window. Now, by holding the left button of the mouse, move the cross section. The next step is about adding an aquifer to the model. Open the geometry object. Choose an average to create the average permeability map. To create an aquifer on the left side of the model, select all objects and then click the Edit Curves button to activate the window. Do left clicks to make a curve along the left side of the model in 2D window. Make a closed curve. and then enter the curve name when it is finished. Let's name it as Curve 1 underscore left side, then click OK. Select the aquifer, then right mouse click Create. Enter aquifer name. Let's put the Fekovic name, then click OK. Select in the aquifer Fektkovic, then choose the polygon which we have already created, then click Apply. To visualize the aquifer connection, go to 3D window and select Fektkovic. Alright, everything was done properly. Just check it by rotating the grid model. To open aquifer settings, right mouse click on the aquifer name. Aquifer settings, define properties. There are all properties there. General settings like influx coefficient, Multiplier, then Ketfogic settings like Datum Depth, Productivity Index, Initial Pressure, and etc. That is all about how to create an aquifer. The last episode about how to create LGR, Local Grid Refinements. Click on All Objects, then select Model Grid. In Calculation window, select Create LGRs by Well. Minimum Index for Well. Minimum number of blocks around the well where LGR will be. Maximum box size. This number is used to create not too many LGR in case of horizontal well. It should be greater than minimum indent. After the setting all parameters to create LGR, click Apply, then LGR appears in the 3D window.
Thank you for your attention.